Here comes 100 feet, we should get that tone. So, one more check, my gear is down, my flaps are up, my water rudder is retracted. Hey everybody, Andy Jackson here, and I've got some advice on a couple little things to make operating your A5 a little bit easier. We'll call them the Icon Hacks. Hack number one, seat belts. Did you know you can use the seat belt as a gust lock? On a gusty day, you want to protect the ailerons from moving and the elevator from moving. To prevent this from happening, we pull the seat belt all the way out, sliding the buckle to the top, wrap it around the stick twice, once up high and once down low, and then buckle the seat belt into the buckle. And that should put resistance on the stick. Here's another little hack. You ever fly around and have that seat belt catch on you a little bit when you try and lean forward? Sometimes it's just the vibration of the engine. So if you pull the throttle back just a little bit, you're gonna go ahead and free up that seat belt. You can save wear and tear on your seat belt by extending it all the way along the outside of the plane and then wrapping it around your body instead of trying to take it diagonal. It's gonna get caught. And when you release it, do the same thing. Release it from the buckle, take it to the outside, and control the retraction mechanism. You'll thank me later. Hack number two, parking brake use. There's a couple spots in the checklist where it talks about using the parking brake, but there's some other times where it's really convenient. Basically think about any time you want friction on the bottom of the aircraft, for instance, folding those wings, or any time you're getting out to pull chocks or set chocks. For your parking brake, think forward to go, back to stop. So I'm gonna set it by sliding the lever to the aft. I'm gonna make my hand into a V shape and I'm gonna get one pedal here and one pedal here on the toes. And I'm just gonna push both at the same time. Four or five good pumps should set that parking brake. Hack number three, while we're on the brakes, braking technique. I notice a lot of people fight themselves while they're using power and they've got the brakes applied at the same time. When it comes to braking, I find the most effective spot to be the upper outer corner of each pedal. So here for the left and here for the right. So I put my feet in a V nice and high on the pedals and when it comes time for the pressure, I lead with the rudder and then wrap my toes around that upper corner. Hack number four, double chalking the main gear. This is an important one, folks. You can't single chalk the A5. The free castering nose wheel is gonna spin 90 degrees and take it right out of the single chalk. If I put a single set of chalks in on one main, and one good gust of wind comes up on the tail, the plane rotates right out. So make sure you're putting chocks on both mains, and if you're leaving it overnight, I'd even put a third one in on the nose. Hack number five, playing music, and this is one of my favorites. If you play your music through the aux in port under the armrest instead of Bluetooth to the headphones, not only can you share music letting both people listen to the music at the same time, but there's actually a built-in equalizer and bass boost, and I'm telling you, it rocks. We can control it right up here with the audio button, Music volume, and then music effects, which is my favorite, bass boost and equalizer. We'll choose rock and medium. Now let's go high and action. Hack six, floorboards. You can pull the floorboards right out and get the hose and fresh water underneath to rinse all the cables and control mechanisms out. An added benefit of that is you get the fresh water to flush through the bilge system and clean the bilge pump out as well. To get it out, just tilt up the nose by lifting up on it. It's a little easier if the wing's folded and you're gonna get a lot more of the water out of the bilge. Hack seven, wind deflectors. I've noticed a lot of people have trouble putting the wind deflectors on and taking them off. Here's the trick. Just grab it from the inside and roll it outward. It pops right off. When it comes to putting it back on, do the blade first along the edge of the window. You get more surface tension there, and then all you have to do is roll it to the inside. Hack number eight, and I love this one for flying, 4,000 RPM, remember that number. It has so many uses in the Icon A5. Of course, 4,000 RPM has many uses, the first of which is the run-up. Slow flight is another area where 4,000 RPM can be helpful. Initially, you're gonna slow down by pulling it to 3,000 and holding your altitude, but once you're stable and trimmed in the mid-yellow, look for 4,000 as a target. 4,000 RPM is also convenient for plow taxi. It's the number right out of the checklist, which is gonna keep you from overspeeding the water rudder. Now, if I want to transition from the plow to the step, I'm gonna go ahead and raise that water rudder, get our flaps down to 30. Here's up, flaps 30, water rudder attracted, full power. Here comes 20 knots, right about 20 to 22 knots. I'm gonna pull it back to guess what? 4,000 RPM. As we transition into the downwind, the book says use 4,500 RPM. I personally like 4,000 RPM better because it keeps me white line 60 knots and decreases the chances of overspeeding something as I descend on the base turn. And lastly for 4,000 RPM, if you ever lost your airspeed indicator for any reason, 4,000 RPM and white line is gonna keep you about 60 knots. It's a very stable middle range power setting. 
Hack number nine, the altitude alerter. This only applies if you have the G3X model. We always want to have the most useful information we can in our flight director. If we set 300 feet on our initial climb out, it's going to give you a warning at 100 feet, which could be a reminder to check your gear. And it's going to give you a warning at 500 feet, which is going to let you know that the parachute is now available as a safety system. And hack number 10, if you're ever going to fly your Icon A5 with a mask on, make sure you have a safety pilot. <laughs>